So Nev, in this 3TW we're talking about LinkedIn. Yeah. As the author of Sales Success on LinkedIn, you are one of the go-to people for best advice and it's changed a lot over the almost 15 years that it's been around now. One of the areas that I know you have helped clients to have incredible success on, <laughs> and I don't use that word lightly, is the search yeah. function. And it's it's still a little bit of a surprise mm. to some people how powerful this is. So w what advice could you give on this? Well, search for me is it's a really interesting piece, and, and a lot of people tend to know the, the standard search, so they, they want to find an individual, they've met somebody networking, they might have a business card in front of them, and they'll go on the search and they'll put that person's name in. Or you might have spoken to somebody and just have a first name and a company name, they can go into the simple search box and put in um, an individual's name and a company name, and they can kind of troll through the people who might have that initial name. Um, and, and find those, those folk, which is absolutely fine. You can search for companies, you can search for groups using the standard search functionality. But what LinkedIn provides, even on the free version, is this nice little um, set of filters and tools that allow you to really kind of start digging and exploring something. So um, let's say, for example, that you really want to uh, target architects. Ar architects in London, let's keep it really simple. A lot of folks don't realize you can search for the word architect yeah, and you might want to think about that key phrase that goes in there because not everybody describes themselves in exactly that way, but let's start with the term architect. Hit that in the search term, and down the right-hand side of uh, LinkedIn, there'll be a series of filters that appear, one of which will say location. All you can do in that location is go and select from the drop-down menu, tell it you want London, and it will filter the search results for the architects who are based in London. Now, that's great because it gives you a real tight, kind of easy little bunch of folks to go after. The stage beyond this is, uh, even on the free version of LinkedIn, because everybody asks me this question, there is a saved search function. I can save that search for architects in London, and what LinkedIn does, uh, it will prompt you, it will ask you if you want a, a weekly email update. You can ask LinkedIn to provide you a weekly uh, email update of anybody who appears on LinkedIn with the word architect in their title anywhere and is based in London. So not only do you get this initial great volume of search results of architects you can go and approach in London and build some relationships with, but you can also get a weekly reminder from LinkedIn to say, here are the new folks that are appearing within this list. And what's fascinating is um, you can find some quite complex terms, you can find very specific things, and whenever we work with a company, with an organisation, with a management team, whatever it might be, they can find some really detailed lists of key individuals really, really quickly. Even when we find really, really niche terms, we work with some professional services organisations who have a real niche focus. And, and looking across um, Newcastle, one of the, the home cities that we trained the team in, they managed to find something like 96 of a very specific niche. And when I asked them out of the 96, how many do you know? I said, well, I probably know about 20 of them. So if you think if that ratio applied true for about everybody else, there's about 75% of your network you might be missing by not running this search. And we talked previously, you know, go out and don't sell to these folks. Please, please, please don't do that. But build a relationship, connect up with them with a professional connection request saying, you know, we do a lot of work with architects in the London area. Uh, we network. We seem to have a similar kind of um, approach, ethos, values. Uh, we seem to have similar networks. It would be great to connect up. But please, please, please don't try and back that up with an instant sales message. We've talked previously. That will just fall really flat. So the search functionality and, and using these filters allow you to get down to the real nub, to the detail of the folks that you might want to engage and build that relationship with.